it out of here. Yo, what's good everybody? Today we're gonna be reacting to a new song from Labyrinth and Billie Eilish. We have not heard anything from Billie Eilish in quite a while now. She's been on tour, she's been doing her thing, so I'm excited. I'm very curious to see how she evolves musically, and maybe this is gonna be a little bit of a taste of that. Her voice could go in a billion different directions right now, because she's doing lots of different things. Okay, let's go. I didn't think that we'd open this up with a dick shot, but I'm not going to complain. Hey! I never felt so alone, felt so no, no, no. I never felt so alone, felt so no, no, no. Okay. This is actually really cool so far. Okay. Number one, straight up, off the bat. I'm so excited that we have a feature now where the featured artist is very present even at the beginning of the song. I don't know what it is that gets to me about features where you barely hear the feature. We don't want a repeat of Snow on the Beach, Lana Del Rey. I couldn't hear her. So very excited about that. Love both of their falsettos together. Absolutely gorgeous. The beat is so cool and different. Almost sounds upbeat as well. In the whip, thinking, what if you in this? Never Buh. <laughs> Kiss Bottle Lick Man I'm mm. Sleep Man I'm Scrub Oh I never You know this man ain't shit without you in the interior I'm dying to wear this is actually really cool. I can't even put my finger on why exactly because nothing has really happened. <laughs> but I like that. I like how sparse it is. There's so much space between all the vocals. This is gorgeous. We're also hearing, like, I've been saying this and I've been thinking it. I've been saying this in my reactions to Billy. I think we're gonna get more belts from her in general. And by belting, I guess in this context, I mean more of these like, hey, type vowels, these open, full type things. Because we've been hearing her do more and more and more of that, whether it's happier than ever into her performance with Haley Williams herself, which I ha also have a video on. We're getting more of these belts. And you can hear them right here. Right up on that O. She's hitting some notes there too. She's hitting a... Hitting some high C's there. Okay, okay. From my perspective, these belts that she's doing here are... They're not as shouty as some of her previous ones which means she's getting a little bit of control over them. A little bit more, she's reining them in a little bit. I thought oh. you were my new best friend. Where's the air? When was the last time we heard her sing a line like this without air? What the heck? I thought you were my new best friend. She's evolved. Wish I knew better than who knew. This sounds nothing like her, holy sh- and I'm so sorry for not talking much about Labyrinth's vocals, but to be honest with you, his vocals are not really very present in this track. He's kind of just talking. Whip, whip, singing. With like some effects on it, so. There's nothing I can do about that. I would love to talk about his vocals if they were more in the song. Who knew you were just out to get I say this all the time, and I again, I could be completely wrong, but a lot of times when you hear artists doing collaborations with an artist that has a completely different vocal style and they sort of meet in the middle during those performances like we heard with Billie Eilish and Hayley Williams. Well, I refuse, I refuse, I refuse. Yeah. 
Oh, so good. Potentially hearing a little bit of Haley Williams influence on her vocals, because Haley Williams usually does something very similar here as well, where keyboard where the, her lower range is not typically super airy and in fact it's actually a little bit shouty and we're hearing that right here we're also getting i am so sorry for pausing this Jesus Christ, y'all are gonna be so mad. But we're also getting, usually when we hear Billie Eilish singing at quiet volumes with air, her voice is like almost collapsing a lot of the times. It's also a fairly bright tone. So this like, I don't want it. Where it's like, ah. It's like so quiet and bright. Now we're getting something more, ah, uh, like that. You know what I'm saying? It's so, long. so, so. It's like, ugh, it's darker and it's fuller and it's not on the verge of falling apart. It's more stable in a sense. Not to say that she, her singing prior was unstable, but you know, she was trying to create that effect in her vocals and that's completely gone now. So well, not completely, but very cool. She has done so many different things vocally. This is a very cool track. Wow. So I guess he has an album coming out. If it's public knowledge, I'll pop it up over here. You can check it out. I'll also have links to their <laughs> down in the description. We did hear a little bit of Labyrinth at the end though. Like I'm not super familiar with his work and his sound, but he's got this like, I ain't got you here. It's very similar to the approach that Billie Eilish just used in that airy section prior, where it's this fuller, darker sound that is also relatively stable, but quiet and with some air on it, you know what I'm saying? So they're kind of meeting each other in the middle there, which is kind of what I said earlier, where, where you get these collabs where people like get their voices to meet and to mesh on a certain track, they will do different things than what they're used to. And then whether consciously or subconsciously, they'll be like, oh, yo, that's cool. I'm going to keep doing that. Very cool. Love to see these kind of collabs. Billie Eilish never ceases to amaze me as an artist in terms of the types of sounds and different types of vocals that she lays down on tracks. And I think that's a big part of what's keeping her relevant. And I noticed this with a lot of singers is a big part of what keeps singers relevant is that they shake up not just the style of the music, because oftentimes more important than the style of the music and the instrumental and the genre is the style of the vocals. Being able to change the vocal technique so that things don't sound so plain, don't sound so boring. Let's check out the comments. This song was meant for Billy. Your voices match so good. Well, they match because they're doing it on purpose. I am screaming. Billy's backing vocals in this are so amazing and pure. They did a really great job producing this, whoever produced it, of being sure that she was present, audibly present throughout the entire track. She didn't get lost in the mix, snow on the beach, or anything like that. She's on the track, she's featured in the track, you hear her in the track, even when there's harmonies, her vocals are very distinct and you can pick them apart and you can follow them. And I think that's very good. I am so happy that Billie is showing more and more of what her vocals are capable of. Yes. I've always loved her more soft, ghost-like and quiet vocals. I like that, ghost-like. But I'm happy that she's finally expanding and showing people who claim she can't sing and just whispers that she can. You know, to sort of play off on the other end of it, who knows, maybe she was not always capable of this style of vocals, and this is something that she's been developing over time. It's very common for artists to do that sort of a thing. I hate this idea that singing quietly is not real singing or it's bad singing. There's this weird thing. I think it comes from like shows like American Idol, to be honest with you. Unless you're like belting at the top of your lungs, 10 out of 10 volume, wide vibrato, and I... <laughs> then you're not really singing. And I think it's so stupid because that's just, that's literally just one style of singing and it only works in certain situations. Pop music is way more versatile than that. You need to be able to do everything these days. And so we're kind of hearing that from Billy. And it's I think it's going to give her some degree of, of staying power that you don't get from a lot of different artists who just have their sound and they sing that way and that's just the way it is. 
You're hearing her do what she needs to do in order to fit the, the track and in order to evolve as an artist. I love it. You love hearing someone doing something new just for the sake of doing something new. It's great. Labyrinth giving us amazing beats and quality sounds. An excellent voice from Billy has already made this a success. And yes, of course, Labyrinth is doing amazing things over there as well. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed my reaction. I had so much fun doing it. Be sure that you subscribe to the channel. And by the way, I do have another reaction of Billie Eilish on tour singing that song, There Goes My Hero, He's Ordinary. Whatever that was, let me know if I should drop that. I never uploaded it. I don't know why. I thought that no one would be interested. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> be sure you subscribe for that. Check me out over on my Patreon. On my Patreon, I go into way more technical detail about singing. So if that's something you're interested in, you can check it out. Also, I've been reacting to High School Musical, the musical, the series over there. I have plans for more stuff in the future. Also, if you are interested in learning how to sing like Billie Eilish, I have a link to apply for voice lessons down in that description along with the Patreon. But anyway, until next time, Tristan. And Tristan! <laughs> Peace.